I've got one that can see. Logic before authority. Hi guys, this is Daniel Alexander Cannon here on whatever channel you're watching this on. The name of this video is the falling away of the truth movement. And you may think this video is about me. And it is. But it is much bigger than that. It involves every channel out there that does that provides actual truth and they're not a an agent working undercover you might say they're in the last four years of course prior to that we had a lot of problems too and but in the last four years there's been a continual slow squeeze or push downward of anyone who is actually discussing truth revealing truth discussing logical things, but mainly just truth, okay? This has, this has been a very hard thing, you know, for someone like myself that's been doing this for 15 years. My channel's been terminated four times, and they've attempted a couple other times, but I have a few strategies that I now use. But I said this is bigger than about me, you see, we still have some others like myself that are out there and are producing uh, content and discussing truths and exposing lies and, and trying to help people understand the true nature of what's going on in many ways in our world. And I'm not just talking politics. I'm talking about all kinds of things. The things that are going on, on in this world where they are squeezing us down, squeezing us just like a serpent. The serpent will squeeze Every time you exhale, he'll squeeze again. Every time you give an inch, he'll take it and you never get it back. And that's what's happening to the remaining amount of people that produce quality content that is related to truth. Okay. There, there are some still left. Now, where is the straw? What is going to be the straw that breaks the camel's back? Because these people, like myself, like Casey with Enter the Stars, he's a really good example. And I know Casey's dealing with this too. I watch quite a few of his videos and I can see he's dealing with this. And there's others out there. But what's happening is we're being pushed down and out. And we're being replaced by fake operatives that pretend to be truthers. Okay. I'll give you uh, give you a few examples here. Okay, let me share my screen real quick. And this isn't working as good as it normally does because I don't have internet. Okay, but here's a good example. Okay, top ten YouTube conspiracy theorists. Okay, you have these guys. All these guys are operatives. Okay, if you go down and you start looking at their list. Okay. These are all operatives, people that are working for the system. And they're pretending to be truthers. Do you know what I mean by pretend? They're playing the role of being someone that is trying to get truth out. But there's a tip left in there. The tip of the spear, you might say, left in there. Because they will always do this kind of thing with their hands. When you're watching them, they're going to do the pyramid thing with their hands. They're going to do that, where they put their hands together just like Trump does, but he does it when he's sitting down. They're going to do that. and Or they're going to put their hands together like this, and they're going to put their thumbs at a tip like this. And they'll hold it on their chest just so the camera can barely see. They'll do that. It's either that or the full-on thing, okay? They all do it. They have to do it. You can watch for it, and you'll know. But there are so many of these guys that are taking over the, the media on YouTube and everywhere. And their channels are blowing up and they're getting big. And they're making big money. While other guys like myself, Casey, and, and a number of others, okay, that are legitimately like, I like Future Love that's out of uh, the Philippines. <laughs> His channel's been terminated over and over. 
and uh, he, you know, he's trying to start over right now again, as a matter of fact. But they keep burning down true people that are that are literal Christians, okay, that are trying to warn the world. These are people, these are literal saints and heroes, okay, that are willing to stand up in the face and put their face out there, okay, stand in the face of the enemy and still speak the truth while struggling and losing in numerous other ways because you can't be successful monetarily telling the truth. Not anymore. You cannot. It does not work because they won't pay you. And I can understand that they won't pay you. But here's the other problem is that 90, between 95 and 98% of the people who watch truth videos on the internet, they don't, they, they will not contribute a single dollar. They just sit there and they consume the information. They talk about it. They might even share the video, but they will not support those people's works. They won't even take $10 out of their pocket and take $1 and send it to 10 different truth people that are telling the truth, the tr real truth. And I know it's hard to tell for sure on, with everybody. You have to watch them for a while. I get that. But there are people that have been out here for a long time, but most of them have been ran away. Haven't they? They're all gone. Why did they leave? Because they couldn't afford to continue, you see. And yeah, I'm in that boat right now. I can't afford to continue. It's, you have you have basically you have two options when you when it gets down to the point where I'm at, for instance. This is what you have to consider. You have to think, okay, well, I could sell out. I could start saying that Trump is, you know, actually a good guy. He's actually a Christian. I could start saying that all these kind of things, or I could switch and go to to Harris and say Harris is good and all this. I could go along with the flow of the river. You see. I could sell out and you know what it would work yeah y'all guys some of you listening to me would get mad and leave but hundreds of thousands of others would pour in and then i wouldn't have no more financial problems but i'd be a sellout worse than that i <laughs> father in heaven would not appreciate it at all and that's just not something that i can do at all is i cannot sell out so what do we do really it comes down to y'all guys the next move on this chess game is on y'all guys's table it's your turn Y'all guys are going to be the ones to decide whether I can continue to do this, whether Casey or any of these other guys out there and ladies that are still doing a good job and are still fighting for our father and his son, Jesus Christ. Still fighting for the truth. What did Jesus say he was? But if y'all guys, and I'm, I'm not talking to the people who generally, uh, support channels like mine and others because this ain't just about me if y'all guys that are sitting on your hands don't do something there is going to be no more truth movement they, it'll look like it's still there but it's going to be the fake ones and that's all that's going to be left and you will not there will be a famine for the word and what will the word be truth truth words and is the falling away happening already? Yes, it is. You've got to decide. You've got to turn around and say, do I want to go down without any fight? Am I just going to lay down and allow this to happen? Or am I willing to take 10 bucks a month or whatever it is that you can afford? And you split it. You find yourself the best ones that you think you can find, whether it's me or not. And you... Dedicate a small amount of money. Each each person out there, 
like me, has links where you can contribute to their work. And it ain't something where you need to contribute one time and think, hey, I've done my job. No, you haven't. That person is still working every month, every day. Most anyone who does what I do, you work seven days a week. It may or may not look like it by the number of videos coming out, but you're still doing your work. You're paying attention. You're being a watcher. You're sitting in, on the wall on the mountaintop. And you're watching. You're paying attention. You're looking for things going on and what you should expose, what you should talk about, what you should bring the word of God into. But none of that is going to be here very long if y'all guys don't do something. And again, I'm talking to the ones of you that sit there and you probably done went away from this video, but you sit there and you watch it and you consume it. You like it. You like the truth, but you're not willing to put any skin in the game. I mean, y'all guys don't really understand the amount of sacrifice and pain that you have to go through to do what I've done for the last 15 years. I mean, with them terminating channels over and over, I mean, I remember when I exposed that the the Sandra Hooker event in Connecticut up there at that uh, elementary. Remember that? December 14th, 2013. I'll never forget the date. When they said that a man named Adam went into the school and he pow, 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 and did all this, and they made out like it was real. And two months later, of course, I was on top of it, but two months later, I showed that the children that they claimed that had been pow, pow, were singing at the Super Bowl. And I put the video out, it was getting millions of views. And then they terminated my entire channel because of it. I had over 70,000 subscribers at that time. And the channel was actually monetized at that time and they just whacked it and I went homeless because of it. In the last 15 years, I've went homeless five times and fought my way back to where I could have some kind of a decent life, where I'm at again right now. And where I'm at now, I'm back to where I'm at a decision point. It's like, it's, it's hard. You don't, y'all guys just don't get it. You think that I mean, I think some of you get it because y'all got to show it. But most of you, 90 some percent, don't get it. And these people that are doing this work, standing up, being watchers, you need to support them. You can't be a part time truther. You can't be a part time Christian. You can't say, well, I'm going to take a couple weeks off. It don't work that way. I don't know what it's going to take. I think what it's going to take is literally all of us being gone. I mean, it wouldn't take much because I'm at a decision point every month. And y'all guys hear me. I come to you and ask you one way or another, and I never lie to you, and I never try to manipulate you. I just say I'm in a spot, and I need this, which is where I'm at right now. I'm back at the, up against the wall again. I've got electricity going to be cut off in about two days. My internet's already off. I'm having to upload this through my cell phone. So I'm using my hotspot connected to my laptop to make this work. But you can't do what I do with just a cell phone like that. I'm not doing what I'm doing now. You cannot do it. I have about 13, 14 platforms I'm creating content for trying to everything I can to get the truth out there. And also, maybe if I'm lucky, get a little monetization to come my direction. So that that way I can buy food. You know, it's one thing for me to suffer because I chose this. And I can accept that because I chose it. I chose to do this. I chose to work for the public. I chose to work for Father in Heaven. I chose to make the sacrifices. But there are people around me, like Miss Kim. She's not here right now at the moment. She went to the store. She didn't ask for this.
She doesn't want to have to deal with these kind of pains and stuff. Yet she does. She makes sacrifices a lot too. I can't even take her to dinner. You know? Not like taking some out to dinner is a big thing because I don't do it very, 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 very seldom. And she knows it, so she won't ask. But I know she'd like that. Or maybe she would like a new dress. And that's very hard for me to do. We got the roof on this house is leaking in two different places. And I don't have the funds to buy a ladder to fix them. And these are, you could call this whining, whatever you want to call it. But I'm a man that's fighting for you, for y'all guys. I'm fighting for father and I'm fighting for the truth. And I've been doing it for 15 years. And I should be highly successful right now. But why am I not? Because everything else I've ever done in my life, I've been the best. And I've been very highly successful. I was a millionaire by the age of 35. And I grew up in a trailer in a swamp over in Horry County in South Carolina. But I achieved being a millionaire. And then my son got poisoned and from these things when he was two years old. And I woke up and realized everything was a lie. So I had to fight. And that's what I'm going to continue doing. But I can't continue and allow the suffering to continue the way it goes on. And I know that I'm not alone with this. I know that there's plenty of other guys out there like David with Jesus Free Computer Geek. Now, he has a, a job that he's retiring from that's had a long time. So he's not as in bad of a financial situation. But I guarantee you, he spends a lot of time doing this work and, and doesn't get nothing for it. And it's not like he should necessarily, when you're working for father, you say, okay, I don't expect anything for it, but you still have to survive. And I know that some of you are going to watch this and you're going to say, okay, well, I'm going to donate a few dollars. That doesn't fix the problem. There's a link below. It's called Patreon. Okay. It allows you to choose between one dollar a month, one buck. And if you're watching this and you haven't been contributing and you're not willing to donate a dollar a month, whether you give it to me or, or David or Casey or, or, or any of the other guys out that are real. Why? What are you thinking? Why would you not be willing to break off the smallest piece of bread you got and share it? I can't even think that way because I, I donate the money that I get. I donate some of it away. 10% basically of my income or the majority of my income, depending on where it comes from. But the high majority gets 10% taken away and I give it to Dan and Shannon, which ain't been much at all lately. I don't know. I'm just trying somehow to get across to y'all guys that the ball is in your hand when it comes to the famine of the truth, famine of the word that the Bible even prophesizes and talks about, the great falling away. This is a major part because when, when the truth can no longer be spoken because one Either they ran us off by terminating us or two, we had to stop doing this and have to go do something else because we just can't survive. You cannot survive in this world with no money. Not here, not where I'm at. There's no way. I've done it with very, very, very little money, but you're sleeping on a couch somewhere, which I've done years of in the last 15 years. You're sleeping on a couch or you're sleeping in a car. I've done that. But I, I myself personally ain't even had a car for 15 years. I had one for a little while. 
It's a long story as to why it all is the way it is. Okay, you say, well, just go get a job. Well, a job is working for a corporation where you're a slave. You don't have any you don't have any ownership in that. You don't get any real benefit from that. And I know we've all had to work jobs. I've worked plenty of them. Okay. I get it. So if you've got a job, don't think I'm bashing you. What I'm doing is, again, just telling you the truth. And the truth is, is that a job is working for the system. Whether you're working at an electronics company, whether you're working for a lawyer, whether you're working at a doctor's office or whether you're working for the state, it's all part of the system that is grinding us down. And the few people that are truly out there fighting for us are being ignored. The ones that, that come out and they will speak the truth, they'll speak the word. And they're not afraid. They'll even show their face and give their name and where they're from and where they're at. Fearless. How many of you would be willing to do this? Any of my stuff that I do. Y'all guys have really got, and I'm talking mainly to the ones because I have over 100 people a month that donate every month. But the average is about $5, okay, a month. And so that comes out to about $500. I can't survive on $500, unfortunately. Because my internet costs 100 And then I have to pay for StreamYard, and I have to pay for numerous other things that's related. I have to pay for the website. I have to pay for an email database. I to, there's all kinds of things you have to pay for. And some of them are bigger than others, but it all adds up. And you cannot survive on $500. I need literally another 500 of you to step up. And you know what? I don't believe you're going to do it. Father knows if you will or if you won't. But I sadly say I don't think you will. It's going to continue the way it's been going, and that is, is the great falling away is happening because y'all guys won't support the truth. Do you know the difference between a beggar and me? A beggar takes your money and don't give you anything, but maybe a thank you. What do I provide? For many, many years, I've provided knowledge. I've provided truth. And according to the Bible, that's the most valuable thing there is, more valuable than gold or any metal or any shiny stone. That's in the word. But it's apparently not that valuable to 90-some percent of you. Prove me wrong. Because things have got to change some more because I cannot, even though I've gotten both my channels monetized, Logic Before Authority and, and um, The Supernatural Show just recently, literally a week and a half, two weeks ago, I got surprisingly got Logic Before Authority monetized because I'm trying to do anything I can to be able to keep doing this work. Because any other work I'm going to go do I'm going to be the best at it because that's who I am. I apply myself. I'm not saying I'm the best YouTuber there is out there. I'm saying that anything I do, I'll apply myself. I've applied myself for 15 years to this without, with very little compensation. And I'm known all around the world. But yet I'm still broke because the people that I serve won't serve me back. Don't you understand that when Jesus taught about service and he went and he washed the feet of the disciples, I need to be served too. I need to be able to survive and I can't unless y'all guys step up.
And I'm talking to the ones of you who never donate nothing. And it needs to be something that's on a monthly basis. You either need to go to Patreon and sign up to be a member. So be it if it's a dollar a month. It's got to be something. Something's got to give, guys. The whole truth community has fallen completely apart. Still, and it's famine for the word. That's where we're headed right now. Famine for the word. Yeah, but you know what? It will not be my fault when all this finishes up. If y'all guys allow it, because it's on y'all guys. You can't expect the enemy to pay us the truthers, the Christian truthers. You can't expect, cannot expect the enemy to pay us well enough to beat them, to even compete with them. They're doing exactly the opposite. They're trying to squash us. And what are the people that we're serving, the public? What are they doing about it? What are you doing about it? I'm doing everything I can. I know some weeks my videos are better than others, but I'm not 40 years old anymore either. I mean, look at me, my hair's gone gray. I got gray under here, gray everywhere. You can be a member of Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. The link's down below this video. Or you can sign up to be a member of the website. Or you can choose on the Supernatural Show channel to be a channel member where it's like $5 a month. There's a couple of different options you have there. Depending on kind of what you can afford, what you can afford to donate, not just to me. Because it would not be righteous of me to only be concerned about myself. It's about the community in general, that if they don't get some support from y'all guys, it's going away. And the blood is not going to be on my hands. Whose hands is it going to be on? Don't let it be on your hands. And this ain't a pressure thing to try to get y'all guys to donate a bunch of money all the time. It's donate something on a monthly basis so that we can get this financial pressure, this nook, this noose around our neck that's yanking on us all the time, distracting us from being able to focus on our work because we're having to rob Peter to pay Paul to do anything we can to survive. This is simply a cry out to the body of Christ saying, we need your support. You're who we're serving. We need some help back. Use Patreon and of course, a one-time donation is great too, but the better one is something smaller every month. Don't just do it for me. Do it for some other channels that you know are real, that they're real truthers, maybe even real Christian truthers. I mean, I've got the opportunity right now that I could take to go back into real estate. The road has already been offered to me. Paid road. But that's not what I want to do. If I go back into real estate, I'm gonna focus on it. I'm gonna use the internet. I'm gonna make videos. It's gonna be about real estate. Yeah, it would probably be a lot more truth oriented around that, around it. But I couldn't focus on that and focus on this. You can't serve two masters. And I dang sure don't want to serve chasing the dollar. Y'all guys could so easily take care of this. But at this point in the video, I'm wondering, we're at 29 minutes, 44 seconds. I'm wondering how many are even still watching. 
I guess we'll see. So Patreon, sign up to be a member of the Supernatural Show on the YouTube channel, which I would prefer you not do that. I prefer you to use Patreon or go ahead and sign up to be a member of the website. But something anyway is better than nothing, no way. So what we're going to do, we're going to continue the falling away or y'all guys going to resist a little bit. I've been resisting for 15 years. I've given all. And I can say that looking you straight in the face if you were here. I've given all and everybody in my family knows it. Some of them think I'm crazy for doing it, for speaking out. They were scared to death. Like the FBI was going to come haul us off or something because they knew I was doing this. They're going to come and do this and that and the other. No, they don't. No, they won't. No, No, they definitely won't because I have the protection of Father in Heaven. He's always there for me. Always has been. I hope y'all guys listen to this and realize that I'm telling you the truth, that this is part of the great falling away and the beginning of the famine for the word. And if y'all guys don't do anything, you're going to be standing there in in that day with blood on your hands because you wouldn't protect what was most important, the truth and the word God. I love you. Links are below, but I gotta go. I've got one that can see. Logic before authority.